When we keep our Blackwood, this is essentially a special variant of Blackwood. So when I very first taught you about slams, um, I taught you what's known as regular Blackwood, simple Blackwood, classic Blackwood, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm not sure where it gets the name Blackwood, I probably told you at the time, I'm not sure, I'm still not sure. Um, but it's essentially using four node trumps to look for a slam. Now we still use four node trumps as our Roman key card Blackwood, so you essentially replace Blackwood with this new fancy variant. Now, the easiest way to kind of transition from, rowing, from regular Blackwood to Roman key card is all I would have to say is the king of trumps becomes an ace. Now, there are a lot of implications on that, but the basic principle is because the king of trumps is such an important king, we count it as roughly equivalent to an outside ace. Obviously, the ace of trumps is the best card in the deck, and then the king of trumps and the outside aces are roughly equivalent. Obviously an outside ace is good and the king of trumps is good. But the idea behind Roman key card Blackwood is that the king of trumps is more important than an outside king. You can often make a grand slam missing an outside king if you've got a good running suit. Missing the king of trumps is a big problem. So it's just because it's a more important king. So that's the simplistic variant. Now that has a lot of implications because suddenly you have five aces in your ace response, which I'll get into in a minute. But the basic premise is that the King of Trumps is a vital card that is so important we upgrade it to an ace. Which means that we only have three kings left that are actual kings, if you see what I mean. We call them key cards because the four aces and the King of Trumps are key cards. So that's why it's called key card. No idea where Roman comes from. Um, someone could probably tell me somewhere in the club, someone would know. Um, I've no idea, but it's shortened to RKCB, or Roman Key Card Blackwood. A lot of people will just call it RKCB. A lot of people who play Roman Key Card Blackwood don't actually realise that, well, maybe they do realise, but they just call it Blackwood because they're so used to it being Roman Key Card that they've kind of forgotten there was an original variant. Now, to be interested in a slam, um, how many points do you want for a suit slam? To be thinking there's a possible slam on. 30 ish. Now, I've put the word ish as my disclaimer. Um, I suppose I want a little squiggle. Um, because you can make suits land on a lot less. A lot, lot less. I think the minimum points, correct me if I'm wrong, Pete, I think the minimum points is four points to make a slam. A small slam. <laughs> Obviously, that's an extreme distribution, like ridiculously extreme. Um, the minimum number of points to make a game, if you're interested, is zero. You can actually make a game on zero points if you have voids there and voids here and you do all that kind of stuff. Um, so obviously this is a guideline rather than a rule, but if you've got 30-ish points, you tend to find a slam is possibly in the offering. Obviously game is around 25. We've all played enough to know that a game is definitely not certain with 25, nor do you necessarily need 25 to make game, because it depends how the cards are laying, whether things are breaking, whether you've got shape going together, all that jazz. But points-wise, if you sense it's around 30-ish, it should nudge you towards <coughs> looking for a slam. Now notice, you need a fit. That's because playing a suit, you need a fit, naturally. Um, no trumps, you don't have a fit, or you will only have a fit in a minor, potentially, but you need more points to make up the lack of trump value. Therefore, you need how many points-ish? 33-ish. 33. 33 um, <coughs> the reason behind that is you could be missing up to an ace and a king. Now, you wouldn't really like to be in six no trumps missing an ace and a king, because that means your slam is likely on a finesse of that king, if you've got every other card. But that's the worst case scenario. You tend to find you're actually missing a king, a couple of jacks, a queen, and you kind of, a lot of them don't matter, especially the jacks. Now, we're not really going to be concentrating too much on no trump slams tonight. The main reason is that Roman key card upgrades the king of trumps. And in no trumps, you don't have a king of trumps. So if you're using Roman key card, there needs to be a clear fit to be agreed. Now, the easiest principle is it's, if it's unclear what the suit is, if it's unclear what trumps, I mean, I'm hoping it's not going to be unclear because your bidding will have told you where your fit is, but if it is unclear, it's the last natural suit bid. For example, the most straightforward slam sequence is one heart, four no trumps. Now, playing regular Blackwood, you are not very worried as to whether hearts of trumps South's got some other idea about what trumps are going to be, or even South is looking for a no trump slam. You're not particularly worried because your response does not matter as to whether it's clubs, diamonds, hearts, spades, no trumps, because regular Blackwood only cares about the four aces, whatever trumps you're in. Whereas Roman key card 
the king of trumps becomes an ace, so you need to know what trumps are. Otherwise, you won't know whether to count that king of diamonds as a trump or uh, as, as an ace or not. So, with Roman key card, if it's unclear, which again, I'm, I'm, like, I'm, I'm hoping it isn't in the bidding, because you have more than just this, but if it is unclear, you take it as the last natural suit bid. In this instance, only hearts can be trumps, obviously. I mean, South might have exquisite spades or something. They probably ought to have mentioned this, their spades if they wanted to try and make spades trumps rather than just do this. <coughs> this is probably never going to happen because it means that South has wasted an awful lot of room and I can't see why they've done that unless they've got some... I don't really understand it. The point is, if you're ever unsure about what trumps are, it's the last natural suit bit. 